let's go over our final exam. So the questions on the final exam comes from homework um, throughout the semester. So I just um, bring up eight questions, okay, that you actually done before um, and um, put them on the final exam. All right, so this first question is from a while back. Consider the following function, this graph, determine the range and enter the answer as an interval notation. So range down to up, okay, this side is keep on going down, down, down. So that must be coming from negative infinity. That must be coming from negative infinity. And remember now, negative infinity is always using what parentheses, right? Go all the way up here, right? And then it stays as a horizontal. This part stays constant. So the y value here got to be negative one, okay? So the y value here got to be negative one. So your range got to be from negative infinity to negative one. But since this negative one is on the line, you got to use a bracket, okay? You got to use a bracket for that negative one. All right, number two, I just want you to multiply these two functions. So this problem, f times g of x, that will equal to x squared minus nine times x plus three. So what you do is just distribute, okay? And then combine light turn if you can, all right? If they don't have light turn to combine, then make sure, if there's no light turn to combine, make sure you write your answer, okay, according to the exponents. That's all you have to do from the question number two. All right, question number three. All right, I already, um, number one, tell me the missing term for the dividend. So as you can see, the dividend, five power, four power, three power. So I'm missing zero x to the fourth already. Okay, so there is a missing term on the dividend. And number two, okay, I roll it out. I draw this picture out for you already. Enter the divisor A, okay, enter divisor A. So we are basically saying the divisor is x plus five. Pretend that is a zero, okay? Solve for x, then negative five is what I will use for a. All right, so work it out this problem and tell me for number three, tell me what b is. All right, remember now since that division, okay, is actually um, shortcut of a long division. So the first step is bring down the coefficient. All right, what, so use the negative five right here. Negative five times one is negative five. Since that division, you will add. So just keep on going and tell me what B is. All right, question number four is on the exponential equation. So this problem that we've done in on the homework, um, the first step is take a natural log on both sides, but we gotta be very careful with the right side because the right side, this is three times e to the two x plus, three, um, three times e to the two x plus one. So when you take a natural law, what you got to do right here is split this into two terms. So that's why you should end up with natural log of three plus natural log of e to the two x plus one equal to natural log. Um, well, see this exponent right here, go ahead and move it to the front. So then that should give you four x over three times natural log of two, right? Remember power rule. So here, natural log and e cancels out. So you should have 2x, 2x plus 1 right here with the natural log of 3 in the front, okay? And the term on the right side is this one. So once you establish your four term, number 2, move all the term, all the variable term to the right side, okay? And all the other term, okay, go to the left side. Because once you... You know, because because eventually we're going to factor X. All right. So now you have the variable term on the right. I want you to multiply every term by the LCD. Since the three is the only denominator, you need to multiply every term by three. So this is natural log of three plus two X plus one for number. Oh, excuse me for number one equal to 4x over 3 times natural log of 2, right? Move the 2x over, so then you should have natural log of 3 plus 1 remain on the left side with the 4x over 3 times natural log of 2. And 2x come over, become negative. So now I'm multiply every term by 3, okay? So that should be 3 times natural log of 3 plus 3 equals the 3 and this 
if we take this term times by LCD, the three cancels out. So that should be 4x times natural log of 2 minus 6x. Now, factor out the x, whatever answer you got right here for number 3, factor out x, then divide both sides by the coefficient, like, like we did in class. All right, question number 5 is simply taking a look at this polynomial function and determine um, the leading term. So the degree is odd, leading coefficient is positive, right? So that should be this one right here. So all you gotta do is just circle it. Okay, or you can or you can select it, select that one. All right, number six is on the handwritten portion. Okay, so I need you to um, do factoring by grouping of the first two, uh, first term, first two term and the last two terms. So the greatest common factor between the first two terms got to be x squared. The greatest common factor between the last two terms got to be negative four in order for the parentheses to match up. Because if you find a negative four, you should get pot. You should actually know with three x. Sorry, that's three x. If I tell x, that should be three x minus two. Four going to negative twelve x is three x. Negative four going to positive eight should be negative two. All right. Don't forget to write greater than or equal to zero. All right, so now what's inside the parentheses match, so we should factor it again. So that should be 3x minus 2 times x squared minus 4 greater than or equal to zero. Okay, make sure you write greater than or equal to zero. Factor number three, factor this difference of squares. So that should give you 3x minus 2 times x plus 2, x minus 2 greater than or equal to zero. Then number four, I want you to write out set each factor equal to zero. And number five, I want you to solve for x to find the x-intercept. And make sure you write your final answer as in order pairs, OK? All right, looking back at the question, looking back at the function, I want you to find the y-intercept by substitute zero for x. And make sure you write your answer as a order pair. All right, plot all the x-intercepts, plot the y-intercept, and use the leading term test. Use the leading term test. This is degree is odd. Leading coefficient is positive. So the graph should look something like this. Right side goes up, left side goes down. All right, so use the leading term test and multiplicity, okay, to help you draw this polynomial function. Then by looking at the inequality, I want you to highlight, this is greater than or equal to zero, so I want you to highlight, okay, I want you to highlight the part that, you know, the part of the graph that's above, that is above the x-axis. I don't need you to highlight the entire upward, okay? I just only need you to highlight the part of the graph, the actual graph part you drew that is above the x-axis. All right, and then state the solution using interval notation. Remember now, this is above the x-axis, okay? This is above the x-axis. All right, so make sure you write your interval notation. All right, question number seven, simply asking you what is the dimension of this matrix? Okay, this is three, um, three rows by two columns, so that must be a three by two matrix. And this one right here um, is the same one in the homework. I just want you to enter the computation for three times B minus two times A for row two, column three row two, column three. So that's this number in this number, row two, column three. So take the number three times the B, which is negative four, minus two times A, which is that 10, right? I'm only looking for the, I'm only looking for the entry that's located on row two, column, column three. There you go, that's all you have to write. Okay, that's all you have to enter. I don't need you to tell me what the answer is. I just need you to type in the computation. So I hope that helped a little bit. Um, um, review the final exam. If you got, um, if you, there's anything you don't, you're not quite understand, please let me know um, before you take the final exam.